that lots of people are counting on us. I know that there's that pressure. You gotta fucking hurt for it. It doesn't mean fuck all if you don't put it out on the pitch, you know? I was talking, having a good chat to Clance about this earlier today. Like, does this group need to be spiked from an emotional point of view, from an arousal point of view? And I said to him, I think for, for this game today, if, if you need help from me to arouse you to, to get up for this game, then you're probably in the wrong profession. into the half? Yeah, probably where I thought we'd be. Um, probably not as pretty as I thought it was going to be to get there. Uh, I knew it was going to be tight and I knew we had to shut down. Shut down, especially Paul CK. He was great last week and he's a great player. Um, but the guys have done a great job up until now. It's a good try in the corner, but there's been a lot of a lot of sloppy play as well from both teams. So hopefully we can rectify that in the second half. Get a bit more set piece ball as well. All right, awesome. And by the way, how about this crowd that you brought out today? You're putting on a show for them. How special is this? It's pretty amazing. I haven't been part of something like this before. And um, yeah, it's really special. You know, the guys knew today was going to be a good day. Sun came out and the crowd turned up, so it's great. That structured aggression looked impressive. And then Chicago is playing fast with purpose. We'll be back in a bit. Stick with us, Chicago. First home match, 10, Utah 7. Gold Coast zone, our playmakers out the back of those players flowing. Let's just get on them like I'm screaming them to get out, get the ball out. So that when they flow around the cards, just fucking, you remind them again, just clear out, clear out, clear out, clear out. And just think, I'm fucking hungry, and you lived fucking hungry for 40 fucking minutes. You do everything you can, leave it all out on the fucking field. You're not saving reserves for fucking anything. Because these fucking big crowds here, you don't want to disappoint. More importantly, you want this fucking win. Yeah, take a look at it here. This oh, is go. very, very telling in terms of possession and then territory 76% on the side of the Chicago Hounds. Utah coming down there and getting that quick try off the line out. Lots of penalty on uh, penalties on Warrior sides, but look at that tackle count. Absolutely incredible. Colin, you could wonder and look in your genie bottle. I mean, you, you'd love it to be a 40 minute game, right? Because you got a lot of energy, your shape's pretty much there. The second 40 is really when rugby opens up. Battle, forwards, that's fucking you. Talk to you out on the field, it's on you today. You've got to take it to Utah all fucking day for 80 minutes. They won't go away.
Valentina gonna put some extra butter on this one, but it doesn't go out! Cruze is just gonna put the boot to stay it! There, stay there, stay there, stay there. Now you Massive missed opportunity from the Hounds. You gotta send that into touch, but counterattack coming for Chicago. O'Keefe on the carry. It's really do or die. I keep saying that, but it really is at this point. Down by four points, putting the boot to it! JP Elof! Just tri going. No, 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 no. Looking for the clearance from Hodgkins. And he puts it into the stands. And Utah taking this close, close match. 14 to 10 over Chicago in their first home opener. What a spectacular match. This one, if you didn't watch it live, is going to be a replay to watch for sure. Obviously, we didn't, you know, it wasn't the result we wanted. Step in the right direction, probably, performance wise. Um, like Sam, first of all, what, what were your thoughts on the game? Brutal, physical, um, desperate. It was a, it was, it wasn't pretty, and it was a little bit ugly <laughs> in parts. But um, you know, I think there's a lot for us as a group to build on in terms of you know how we perform from a from a defensive point of view and shutting down Utah's threats for for the most part of the the game, and then um, from attacking point of view, like. And a, and a game strategy point of view, we did everything we we needed to to win the game. We just we just couldn't put the ball down over the line or, or kick it through the post enough. So, you know, we we'll take a fair few learnings away, but we did enough to win that game. We just we just didn't get it done. And so I think, you know, with time, you know, as, as I continue to say, and you know, I might sound like a broken record, but as the weeks go on and we, we develop the relationships and build the trust and. and learn how people work like, yeah, we'll be a, a much stronger team for, for that performance on the weekend